Huh? Yeah, Zach said you had to go to bed. You couldn't talk. Coach Sansbury and guard Jared Savage. Yeah. Well, first off, we knew coming into here, uh, it's not just a, it's just not a very difficult place to play because of your fans. It's a difficult place to play because of the team you got between those lines. And I'll tell you, Mike's got the most improved or surprising team in the Southeastern Conference this year. I mean, I know you guys, for them to come in this game, being where they were after losing all those players they lost last year, they're much better than anybody ever anticipated them being. And Bob, you may not write that. That's just the truth. They're a whole lot better to have such a young team and a new team. Uh, they're by far the surprise in the league. You know, we kind of come in limping in a little bit. We got a new team, um, really not playing with our true point guard. Uh, we've started three different point guards in the last three games probably, trying to figure it out a little bit. That don't make you sleep very good. You know, you got to come in and handle this pressure. But give our guys credit. They did two things today that you got to do on the road to win that I've been preaching and hadn't really seen it. Is you got to have that grit. Where's our toughness and where's that grit at? That overcomes a lot of things. I saw it today. That's number one. Number two, uh, we had two guards. Uh, we started the freshman point guard at seven assists, and, and uh, Tavion had six, 13 between them. We haven't had 13 assists as a team all year long, probably, uh, especially just between those two guys. Those two guys. When in the second, first half, we were down. Uh, we knew the first four minutes of the second half was kind of the game, and we came out and responded, which we haven't been good, as Brad knows. We've gone in most games ahead at halftime. I don't know if we've gone in behind at halftime. Check that stat. We've been ahead all year long, but we've come out the first four minutes and hadn't performed very well. But today, we did. That first four minutes was key. Down eight, first time out up two. Jarrett got us going. Jarrett jumped up and made some huge shots for us. Played big, played a lot of minutes. And again, as I just told my team, I'd be proud of them today, whether you won or lost, because I saw something I wanted to see in us, some fight and some grit. Now, naturally, it's a lot better when you get that W-2. It's something we can build on. But I'm proud for these guys and because um, we've been fighting some things. Uh, we know we're going to be good in time. We're working in progress right now. But these kind of games will help mold you a little bit. So I'm awful proud for them. Question. Rick, you've now brought two programs in here in one. Not too, maybe, maybe Tubby's done that, but not too many other people have. Just how, how do you feel about that? You know, Bob, I haven't even thought about it. The only program I was thinking about right now is Western Kentucky. I mean, you know we've had some, been up here many times. We had many awards through the years. Um, you know, it's just, I've always said to me, this was one of the most difficult places to play in the SEC. When Arkansas was right, they wasn't allowed a place in this conference to play. So, been up here many a time. But to bring a new team into here, um, you know, we got one guy back, one starter back in Tavion that's played. Everybody else is new. County broken a little bit at our point guard play. And to get a win against a, a team that, I don't know if there's anybody playing better than them in the SEC. I mean, Auburn, Tennessee, outside that, nobody is. Uh, for them to go on that road and win at Colorado State like they did, that don't happen. You've already beaten a good Indiana team here. You had Texas beat on the road. Uh, you've been blowing out people here. And I think this was uh, the first time you've lost a non-conference game in what, 28, 29 games? What's that stat, Bob? What is that? They did one 28 in a row. 28 in a row. So to do all that, I don't think about bringing the other team in here. I'm proud of this team. I'm proud for them. Um, I'm proud that they get a taste what grit is, what toughness is. And that's something I had not consistently seen. Uh, now we'll build on that. What did you think of that Bassey-Gafford matchup and how your guy was able to hold his own? Well, our guy's pretty good. Um, Gafford's a terrific player. You know, I think – uh, Charles, from the tip, had to understand what we, what we said, how fast Gafford is in transition. Well, he didn't go in transition. The tip, he started half court and got a layup. I mean, he's like, he gets shot out of a canyon. Not many big guys can run like Gafford. Charles got really, I thought it got into his legs a little bit today, too, from a fatigue standpoint. But Charles was a man, too. He, he stood up and held his own. He made a great read late in that game. We're down one. A great pass. Uh, 
those are kind of kind of plays and kind of games that again that will make him better too. But Charles is a is a, a really good young big guy. Rick, it was kind of a throwback game to two officials. Uh, when's the last time you had that experience, and, and how was it? Hey, I can't talk about officiating, but I said, hey, that's good. That's one less guy. we got to worry about being bad. So we just got two of you guys. You can't print that now, Bob. <laughs> I said, most time I've been up here, we've had three bad ones. We're just going to have two bad ones this time. So I told them that. So, hey, what it is is what it is. They did as good a job as they could do. I told Brett, Brian that. Um, you know, it's not an easy game to officiate. Anytime you fish at Arkansas game, it's not easy because those guys are active. I mean, they're pressing you into you. But as good as they could call it, and you all know I was on them too, um, but we got as good as calls games we can get. Um, we shoot more free throws than Arkansas does. That's a, that's a good stat for us on the road in particular. Gary, go toughness in the second half of the game, especially on the road. What did you guys show today that you don't think you had uh, earlier this season in some of these situations? I think we just locked in defensively, offensively. We had toughness coming out of halftime. We knew how important it was the, the first four minutes of the second half to really jump on them and get that lead uh, back closer to us. Brad, have we, have we been behind at halftime yet this year? Zach? In the end, so you were down two. We was down two. OK. Jerry, break down those last couple of plays there. <coughs> Uh, just we're two, three out of bounds. They threw the lob, and uh, I think Charles got a little tip on the ball, and I mean that's it. Just made a play on the ball. What was that feeling like? I saw you guys start running around the court. Afterwards. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. I like turning it up with my teammates. Jerry, you talked about using your shooting today. It seemed like I know you've been trying to get on track here lately. What was working for you today? I mean, it just went through. I seen it go through once, and you know, as a shooter, that's all you need to see. And I just started knocking down shots. Go ahead. Who's got me? Brad, you got me. Yeah, go ahead. How important in a game like this, atmosphere like this, when you have someone like Jared that can jump up and make shots like you did today? And you got no matter what you do defensively, you got to make some make some shots. And you know, Jared, um, as you as you well know, we've we've moved him around the last week and a half, all kind of positions, um, changing that point guard spot. You know, he's been at the two. Today we played him at the four. Um, but anytime you know he's got a a clean look at it. He's got a total green light, total green light. Uh, he has ability to jump up and do what he did today. How many of those five came in the second half? He made five threes. How many did you make the second half? Four, four in the second half. Those are huge on the road. They're just not three points. Uh, they're energy, the momentum builders. And it happens to the other way when, when the other team makes them. You know, we had a bad play up um, three or four, Josh's play. He just hands a casual handoff that leads to a basket and a foul, and, dis and Josh gets uh, dismissed from the game. That's a horrible play right there on our part. Now, we got to play the rest of the game without him. Uh, that's not easy. Um, that's, that, again, that's why I'm proud for these guys. We had guys come in and play with grit and toughness. And grit and toughness overcome a lot of talent most of the time. Uh, and again, particularly on the road, you got to have it. You find out what you're made of. Everybody's good at home. Those teams can go on the road and win. When you're down 10 with five minutes to go, that's when you find out what you're really made of. That's when the coach really needs you. He don't need you when you're up 10 at home or up 20 at home. He needs you on the road when that shit gets tough. And today, when it got tough, we were pretty good. I like that about our guys today. Rick, you yes, talked about that, that look Bass he had on the winning basket. On the other end, he blocks Harris's shot. He had five blocks. What about his impact? You know, defensively. Today. Uh, he was uh, – Gafford, what was his stats today? 17 points. Seven, you know, 17 to nine. He got his average pretty much, didn't he? I mean, he's a load in there now. Um, we mixed it up how we guarded him. We doubled him some. Uh, we zoned him some. When the other big guy came off the bench, we fronted him, didn't double him. We tried to get him – give him multiple looks. So he never got comfortable. And I would say uh, those 17 points – I would say at least 10, 11, 12 of them probably came in transition layup or put back. How many of them came on a pass, him posted up and scoring? I wouldn't think more than two or three of them. So I thought we did a very good job limiting him on that block, his effectiveness.